Welcome back to Show and Tell Thursday. Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video, Show and Tell video, is about this painting here. And um, in order to kind of show you this painting and tell you where it came from, I have to kind of tell the rest of the story. Uh, I'll show it to you real quick, and then and then I'll give the, the story, and then we'll jump back into it. So this painting <clears throat> is called Bel Air, and it is a five by seven painting on ampersand board. It's uh, an original painting. Uh, so the way I came up with this, or the reason why I came up with this, has a cool kind of story. So as an artist, my, my job, one of my jobs, is to get my art into as many hands as possible. Uh, so in order to do that, <clears throat> I need to have art, or products, since I sell them, products at, at multiple different levels, so that there's, there's basically something for everyone. So where that starts for me are the, the prints. As an entry level for, for my art, um, I offer the, the G-Clay prints. And these are for people who um, don't necessarily want to make the investment in, in an original piece of art, but really love an image and want it, uh, and want a really high quality image. I'm going to zoom you in on this to kind of show you. Now these aren't just regular prints. Give this a second to focus. There we go. These G-Clay prints are done by Madison Edition, and when I tell you they're spot on, they really, really are. They're photography process and printing process is amazing and uh, for those who, who aren't quite up on the um, the printing process you might have heard the, the term G clay basically what it is is it's a pigmented ink inkjet printer and I make it sound simple it's not like a desktop thing this thing is huge it's amazing and um, it takes a skilled craftsman and artist to run it so fortunately Madison edition is all that so when I tell you this is spot on, it, it is, they did do such a great job capturing all the details and the color and just do a great job. And it's printed on archival photo paper, so it's going to last for a really long time. And, um, and it's actual size too. So this is my entry level. This is where, you know, if you're not quite ready to spend, uh, you know, the, the, the amount of money it takes to buy an original, this is where you would start. So from there, the way it's been for me, it's the next jump up, next jump up was original paintings. Um, and for me, there was a big jump. There was a big jump from what this costs to what you'd have to invest to, to get an original painting. And I wanted some things that were in between there, were in between the full boat, crazy paintings, which I'll show you in a minute, and, um, and, and, and a reproduction. So fortunately, last year I came across an artist named Timothy John Luke Smith, and he has a um, series of India inks that he that he produces. And uh, what was nice about the India inks for me is it just kind of changed my way of thinking with these with small some of the small paintings, and it allowed me to do some really cool stuff. So this is what I call the 543 series, and these paintings for me are very quick, and I try to give. Oh, actually, I'll zoom in the other way because it'll focus. What I try to give is really tight detail, but I also try to keep myself to a time limit on these so that I can offer these paintings at a much, much lower price than the full-blown color paintings. So these are great. Um, again, I do things like re eliminate the backgrounds. There are no backgrounds in these, which save a lot of time for me. And again, doesn't lessen the impact of the painting. In fact, in a lot of cases, the subjects I choose are enhanced by that simple background. Uh, so these are the 543 paintings. So these are actually original paintings, but they come in much, much lower than the custom-made, full-boat, crazy, framed, miniature paintings, or even the bigger ones. So that is my next step up. Okay, so now that is where the Chevy painting, the Bel Air painting comes in, but I'm gonna wait on that and I'll tell the details about that at the end. So the next step up for me after that was a, basically a, what I call a standard commission. So if someone wants a painting of their car, for instance, on an eight by 10, and they want it set up very similar to the 543 paintings where there's, you know, there's no background, it's very simple, they want the car to pop, um, or they want a portrait, that's you know single person portrait or that kind of thing something that I can get done in a reasonable amount of time now I don't have one to show you because I just sent one out but I'll show you this because this is probably one of the better examples of that so this is 
even though this is a little bit special because it's got you know the logo and the color it gives you an idea um, so the thing with this is again very simple background simple colors I can do this in a reasonable amount of time offer a great amount of quality and and detail uh, but it doesn't take me hundreds of hours to do so this is this was the next jump so for the longest time it was either the prints or this jump up uh, so that's where that is so this Nissan painting the other the other thing with this this a painting like this is this is a pre-made frame I didn't make this frame unlike the bigger ones which I'll show you in a second um, and uh, and you know it's it's basically you know I mean to, to have a pre-made frame it cost me a lot less time and effort than to hand make a frame for it so so that's the other place now in the end of the day this looks great with a white plain white frame if I had made this frame it would have looked the same so again it's a, it's a way for me to kind of pass that value on and and um, and have a little bit lesser expensive commission so this right here is the most popular painting that I do again not the logo Nissan painting but this kind of car portrait simple background type of thing uh, these are these are really really popular okay so the next step up or the one of the next the final steps is the full boat painting and this is California this is the painting of the California, the Ferrari California, and this is a full boat painting. So a full boat painting for me, get that to focus there. Uh, full boat painting to me is is a painting that I go absolutely nuts on with the with the quality, the detail. I don't stop until it's completely perfect. Uh, they're, I mean, they're, they're miniatures, but they don't have to be miniatures. I would put the same amount of effort into a larger painting. But still, it's, it's the mindset. It's, it's putting your foot to the floor and just nailing it, going the whole way till it's done. So that's what this, a painting like this is. And you'll also notice little things like, you know, the gold leaf border, the pinstriping. This painting is actually clear coated, so you see that gloss on it. So this is, has an automotive clear on it, which is buffed and polished. It's, this particular painting is painted on a piece of titanium. Uh, so like I said, every possible stop on the way, I ask myself, what can I do to make this, you know, over the top? It's got a genuine carbon fiber background. The frame is solid Peruvian walnut. It's it's just it's just as badass as I can make it. <laughs> so now these are the kind of the final stop for me. If you want something from me that that is that, oh, it's slipping. There we go. Uh, then then this is this is that stop for me. It's it's basically what what I would hope eventually hangs in a museum, for instance. And when people look back at my work, this is what I want them to remember. So that's this one. Now there is one level above that. And I'll show you that right now. And actually, you guys saw that two weeks ago. So my good buddy Keith, this is the painting of New York. My good buddy Keith basically says this. This is the type of painting where you're going to have to prove you want this painting more than I do. So, so basically, I won't sell this painting uh, unless someone comes along that, that loves it more than I do. Uh, and that's a rare a rare collector and it's the best collector because they're basically thinking about your art on the same level that, that you are caring about your art uh, and that's that's wonderful so that's you know that's this painting it's everything that the Ferrari painting was but the amount of time it took to paint the actual image here and I zoomed in last time for you so you could see the New York painting but you get the idea uh, the amount of time it took to paint this painting or some of the bigger paintings that are extremely involved um, it's just it's a, it's a different animal it's I call them hinge paintings so they are paintings that, that when I look back at my career I look and say that something happened there that was a that was a that was a challenge that I didn't think I could do or that that I really needed to do personally to move on and and it happened and it worked and that's what these paintings are so these are at the way top top of the um, kind of the food chain all right so let's jump back to the Chevy and I'll show you where that fits in Zoom back out for you. So I wanted a painting that was, again, my level of quality. I would want to hang it on the wall for sure. I wanted something that I could do fairly quickly or very quickly so that I could, I'll take it out of the, this is normally when you get a painting from me. They come in a little folder just to protect them like this. So I'll take it out for now so you can see it. And I'm going to tilt it a little bit so there's no glare on it. That glare is from the light. Uh, yeah, I'll tilt it for you from the finish. 
and I will zoom in. So I want a painting that's that's technically tight, uh, that that uh, reads very well, that someone will look at and say, you know, that's 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 a really great painting. Uh, but again, I didn't want to spend 30 hours on it and then be in the position where now this is a different animal. This deserves to be in a handmade frame and this deserves to have a background and all that. So that's where this, this painting came in. One of the things that I use a lot are photocopies to help block in the image. So, um, so with this one, I made a repeatable set of those uh, block in templates. My goal is now to make this into a series. So it's the first time that I'm making a painting that isn't unique to, to itself. So that what will happen is I'll have not just one of these paintings, but a series of these exact same paintings. So that, by default, lowers its, 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 um, its selling price in a way, because it's not a one-off original. Now it's a series. Uh, so that was one way that I could kind of lessen the, lessen the, um, the, the cost of this. Uh, it, it allows me to get the same image out there, but again, still keep it super high quality. <clears throat> the other thing is with those, with those handmade block-in templates, I'm able to reproduce this painting exactly and um, and do it in a in a reasonably fast um, time frame. So that's that's kind of a kind of a good thing too. Um, they come unframed, which is also reduces the the uh, overall cost of them, which is okay because I made this five by seven, which is a very frameable size. I mean, you can literally go to the if you wanted to. I wouldn't suggest it, but you can literally go to you know the the arts and crafts store and pick up a five by seven frame, throw it in, and it's done. Uh, it's probably not the way to go because, you know, I mean, it is, you know, an original painting and you don't want to put a $4 frame on it, but uh, it gives you an idea. Uh, so this is, this is where this painting came. Now, the big question is, is there's a time that I have in my head on this that I have to hit in order to make this worth it? Uh, and this is the very first one. And I went way over on the time, but it was also a lot of setup and I use this for a live feed and all kinds of other stuff. So the true test is in the next three paintings. I committed to doing th four of these paintings and having them, regardless of how long it takes me, having them come out at the same price. Um, and they're already up on the website, so you know you can check it out there. But there'll be four of them to start. If it works by the fourth, I'll continue on. And they'll be signed and numbered. Um, and the way I was thinking about these as a signed and numbered painting that's exactly the same, I was thinking of more like like an Aston Martin. When you buy an Aston Martin, it's handmade, but off the factory floor, it looks like the last Aston Martin that was just made. Now, it's an Aston Martin, so it's really nice. Uh, but it's not, it's not someone sitting in a garage building you a one-off custom car that's you know over the top. So again, this is designed to fit in between the black and white small ones and the regular commissions that I do. So hope that all makes sense. I had an interesting conversation with, with uh, the legendary van customizer, builder, painter, Ivan Benick. And uh, he saw this painting and, and went on a, a, a rant that I thought, I think he thought that, that I was, that I was going to be shocked and offended, but I really wasn't. His point was, there's no way that this painting is $250. It should be two or three times more than that. First of all, that's an amazing compliment coming from someone like that. That's, that, that means the world to me. But he said something else that, that I've been actually telling people for a long time, and it really made me smile. So his analogy was that when you drop a transmission, you bring it to the garage, and you have that fixed. And the mechanic in the shop, essentially, gets $100 an hour to do that. He said there's 432 mechanics in his city that, that he lives in, and they all get $100 an hour. So the, what he was saying was that as an artist, as he is, and, and as, as a lot of us are, that produces something that's, that's truly unique, there's no way that we should at least not be getting what a mechanic gets, or a plumber, or you know, the, the guy who does your, your, your pest removal or whatever. Uh, and that's something that I've been saying for a long, long time. So when he said it, I smiled because I think he was thinking he was, you know, um, ranting on me, but he really wasn't. He was actually reaffirming what I, what I already feel. 
uh, because I agree with that. You know, it's what we do is, is pretty unique. And, um, and while we try to fit in, you know, we want, on the other side, we want everyone to have our art. And if you charge a $1,000 an hour, you know, that's, you're not, you're going to sell to a different group of people than if you have a broad base of products or artwork. I keep calling them products because I try to think business when I'm doing this stuff, not art. Because if you think art, you tend to get passionate and you don't sell anything. <laughs> you just hold on to it all because you love it. Uh, so it was, it was a great, it was, it was a great back and forth with Ivan. In, in the end, he didn't, he didn't know how I set, how I set this up, and 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 what it, what my intention was for this. Um, but his his words were great. So if you do have a chance to check Ivan out, he is like I said, he is a legend. So it was great getting some advice from uh, from someone who's been in the business for an extremely long time and is extremely good at what he does. So that's it. All right. So wish me luck on the Bel Air. Keep keep track of it. Um, these paintings will come out probably over the next two or three weeks. I have to weave these in between other commissions. Um, again, they can't take away from anything else I'm doing because then that adds to their value, uh, which I'm trying. It sounds weird, but I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> I'm trying to keep them at a certain price, and uh, and that's where that goes. So hopefully, all that rant made sense. Hopefully, it all you know kind of, kind of you know shows you where this is kind of coming in and, and where it's happening. Hopefully I can keep pulling them off and you get to see a bunch of these uh, and uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. So as always, thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out for another show and tell Thursday. Um, if you enjoyed this, if you're new, please like and subscribe. Um, and you can also uh, check out the link for, for this individual painting as well as once you get to that link, you'll be able to kind of cruise around the store and see all the other uh, the other paintings that I was talking about. So that's great. So I really appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you so much. Again, like and subscribe if you got something out of this. This, If you know someone who might get something out of this who would like to see my art, please pass it on. I love it. All right, guys, you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.